his sight, but not his will to live or his appreciation for the help of a United Way agency. He still goes twice a week, Control not to get help, but to give it. I'm giving myself. Please, give what you can. The United Way. Raj, Rerun, Shirley, and Dwayne figure out what's happening every weeknight at 5 on WTAF TV 29, Philadelphia. Hey, crew! What? what? Oh, uh, excuse me, but, uh, what has 24 eyes, 48 green legs, 430 teeth, and is really, really mean? The no sweat, Gary! Yeah? Twelve green gunnoos! Wrong! Uh. Yeah! You wanna know what has 24 eyes, 48 green legs, and 430 teeth, and is really, really mean? Yeah! What? Well, I don't know either, but it's standing right behind you! <laughs> show us exactly what happened. Oh, okay, Fran. Here was a banana just like this one. Yeah. I put it down on the table like this. Okay? All right. And then I reached over to get to get a napkin, and then all of a sudden, when I looked again, the banana was gone. Baxter, you pig. Wait a minute. I didn't even budge. But the banana sure. did. I, there it is. It's flying away. Yeah. A flying banana. Must be a very light snack. <laughs> oh, I always thought bananas were heavenly, but I never knew they had wings. <laughs> Guys, this is ridiculous. Nothing can just fly away. Come on. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What is going on? Yeah, everything's going up. Yeah, I know. And I think I just might know why. Why? Mm. Ah, yep. That's it. Why? Just as I thought. All the seven moons that are around our little home. Mm -hmm. well, what about them? Well, they're all, all seven moons are lined up in a straight line. You know what that means? No. no. Today is anti-gravity day. Yeah, uh, anti-gravity day? What's that? Well, anything that's kind of small is going to tend to <gasps> float away. <laughs> What's well, that? Baxter, you better hold on to your hat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, well, you better warn the others. Yeah. Huh? Aren't you coming, Gorilla? No way. I've got to go gobble a dozen bananas. Uh -huh. Gorilla, this is no time to eat, huh? Well, easy for you to say, big guy. But if I don't gain a few pounds really fast, I'm liable to be the world's first flying gorilla. <laughs> I'll hold yeah, you down till we back, get a stain please. on your toe. Oh, please. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Time out. The Great Space Coaster will return after these messages. Today's show is supported in part by Hasbro. Make play a part of every day. My little pony, baby pony. You're the cutest ponies under the sun. My little pony, baby pony. 
Taking care of you is so much fun. I love to feed you with your baby bottle and put on your little diaper too. My little pony, baby pony, you're like a dream come true. I love you, my baby pony. My little pony, baby ponies, each sold separately from Hasbro. It looks awfully hungry. Let's get out of here. To help the guardians. We may be enemies, but we're both Gobots. Now the Gobot invasion continues every weekday. Let's go. Look who's coming. The Gobots every weekday. It's awesome. Shields up and get ready to attack. The Gobots now weekday mornings at 7:30 on TV 29. I'm in. Now back to the program. <laughs> Boy, this anti-gravity effect is getting pretty strong. Well, what makes you say that, Roy? Well, look at Danny's hair. Even it won't lay down. <laughs> well, it's a good thing my hair's attached. Yeah, well, it's a good thing we remembered to tie down your drumsticks. Yeah, that's good. And this, this ought to hold the saxophone. And I hope my piano stays put. Hey, guys, need a hand or two or, or three? Oh, <laughs> sure. Hey, Gorilla. What? I thought you were going to make sure that Edison's garden tools didn't fly away. Oh, that's all taken care of. Wow, that was fast. Oh, well, sure. I just made a big pile of the garden stuff and then, then, then told Edison to sit on it. <laughs> Believe me, those tools aren't going anywhere. Yeah. Hey, you know, we ought to do something about Danny's drums, too. Yeah, well, well let's get a few of these rocks and use them as weights, huh? Good. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Thumping. Thumping who? Thumping very tasty. <laughs> I have a banana meringue pie for you. No, banana no pie. jokes, knock, knock, okay? Can't you see we're working? Well, take a break, boys, because this banana meringue pie is something. Special. Oh, the meringue is so fluffy. The crust is so flaky. Mm -hmm. I think you're a little flaky. Now stand clear, okay? This pie is lighter than air, Griddle. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, oh, oh, Whoa. Wow. You can say that again. Just what I want. Pie in the sky. <laughs> well, it's too late, Roy, because that hungry pelican up there, there just, just popped it into its big beak. Yeah. For heaven's sake. What's going on around here? Well, it's anti-gravity day, that's what. And we're trying to make sure everything stays put for the big concert. Oh, well, don't worry. What goes up must come down. Yeah. Not on anti-gravity day. <laughs> everything just goes up and up and up and up. Yeah, like the prices of bananas. That's terrible. <laughs> hey, Roy Bax, will you help me move this big rock over here? Oh, yeah, sure, Dan, be right with you. Well, I... I <clears throat> Well, what can I do to help Gorilla? Just, just clear all away, okay? No, no, there must be something I can do to help. Here, let me help you with that. Rock. No, no, I've got it, Knock Knock. I've got it. No, okay? no, I insist. No, here. let I, go, I, let I, go, I, let I, go, I, let, let go. go. Oh, my toe. Oh, dear. Oh. I guess I am sort of a Butterfingers, aren't I? Knock Knock, this is no job for birds. <laughs> What do you mean? I mean, stick with things you can handle, like like baking pies and, and chirping. There must be something that I can do. This anti-gravity force is dangerous. Natural. I feel that steps must be taken. That's right. Steps must be taken, what? and I want you to take them. What? And I want you to keep taking what? steps until what? I tell you to stop, what? okay? What? One. I Oh, three! Three! Uh, Corita, dear, oh. before I go, may I ask you one question? Oh, ask. Is that your head? Or did someone plant a pumpkin on your neck? Four <laughs> <months>. <laughs>
He's looking for ways to help others as a volunteer with the United Way Agency. Come on, little guy. We'll take care of you. Because Ron knows that no matter how tough things may be, there are still millions out there who have it a lot tougher. I'm giving myself. Please give what you can. The United Way. Afternoons are full of fun. Don't miss the action with Thundercats at 3. at 3.30. Transformers at 4. And G.I. Joe at 4.30. It's all new adventure and all new excitement each weekday afternoon on TV 29, Philadelphia's Superstation for kids. The dawn is breaking and it begins again. The spirit lives on with pride in the past and footsteps to the future. Oh, my honor, I would do my best to do my duty to God and my country. Here they learn more about life than about knots and merit badges. Friendly, courteous, kind, obedient. Keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. In these young people, America is celebrating a spirit that has contributed to the character of our nation for more than 75 years. Here's where courage and teamwork, independence and interdependency are born in young people. This year, the Boy Scouts of America will celebrate their Diamond Jubilee from 1910 to 1985. Be part of scouting, because America's returning to the values Boy Scouts never left. I'm in. Now back to the program. Well, I guess we're as ready for this concert as we'll ever be. Yeah, seats are starting to fill up. Good, then he won't fly away. <laughs> you know, this anti-gravity day is getting to be a real nuisance. Yeah. Everywhere I look, I see stones, boulders. That's just to let our fans know we are ready to rock. Oh. Yeah. Hey, what song do you think we should play first? On anti-gravity day, let's see. There's Up, Up and Away, or Higher and Higher. <laughs> Come on, me to the moon. Come on, you guys, this whole business is making me nervous. I hope we thought well, about everything. I am afraid you folks have not thought of everything. Well, what do you mean, knock, knock? All our instruments are grounded. That's right. Yes, but what about the music? Oh, we don't need sheet music, knock, knock. We've got all these songs memorized. No, no, friend, dear. I mean the music that comes out of your instruments. How do you know that all the notes won't float into outer space Gee. before your fans can hear them? Hey, maybe knock, knock's got a point there. Yeah, right at the end of her beak, right? That's <laughs> the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I don't think we have to worry about that, knock, knock. No, I was just trying to help. Yeah, yeah, well, well you're a little late. All the work's already done. <laughs> You were the one who wouldn't let me pitch in. Oh, Come on, you guys. Stop arguing. Take your seats. We have a concert to get started here. Yeah. <gasps> I still have to tune my guitar. Roy, give me an E. <laughs> no, an E. <laughs> that is an E. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, guess... That can't be an E. Let me see that. That's impossible. Come on. Maybe it's see that. Oh, Come on. How long have I been playing? Oh, oh no. Oh, what tomorrow? now? Well, I 
guess we gotta cancel the concert. Oh, I never, Bax! Oh, why can't you just go up there in the coaster and get it? Sure. Yeah. I could, Guru, but it's not that easy. You see, I I've gotta get in the same orbit, and there's always a chance I might smash into it. It's gonna take a while, too. Oh, no. And by then, the crowd would have split. Yeah. Or it's hopeless. Uh, excuse me, but may I make a teensy little suggestion? Well, if you have to. Quit moaning and watch the bird do her thing. What? Wow! Wow! Look at her go! What speed? What grace! It's... it's Superbird! <laughs> and here is your guitar, Van dear. Thank you, Knock Knock. Hey, hey, why didn't I think of sending Knock Knock after the guitar? Because you said that birds were good only for baking pies and chirping, remember? Did I say that? You certainly did. Well, I'm sorry, Knock Knock. I guess I shouldn't have written you off so soon. Well, I accept your apology, okay. you narrow-minded monkey. <laughs> <laughs> now we can all enjoy the concert. Well, yeah. all Let's except Knock Knock. What do you mean? Well, now that you got Fran's guitar, aren't you going to go up and get my bananas? <laughs> well, I've got a better idea, Gariddle. Why don't I just fly you up there so you can join them? And here's Gary Gnu with the book of the week in review. <laughs> Gary Gano with the book of the week in review. Speed Reader is on his way. Who can read on the run and have lots of fun? Speed Reader, Speed Reader. Who can do a handstand and read everything on the newsstand? Speed Reader, Speed Reader. Speed Reader. Who can run forward and back and read everything in the stack? Speed Reader, Speed Reader, Speed Reader, Speed Reader. And here he comes, Gano. Speed Reader, the fastest reader in the world. I'll be with you in a second, Gally. Uh, uh, Just finishing it up. Well, 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 where are you going? Speed Reader, you mean you've been running for 26 miles? Oh, no, no, no. I've been reading a book an hour for 26 hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. What book have you brought for us this week? Well, it's called Dory and the Haunted House by Patricia Coons. Oh, I don't believe in haunted houses. Why not? Mm. You know, it's possible that even this TV studio is haunted with ghosts of shows that were produced here many years ago. The only show they ever did here before was Scary Showcase. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, maybe you had better just uh, read the book. I think that's a good idea, Gary. <laughs> and there he goes, Speed Reader doing his warm-up exercises, doing push-ups with his eyelids. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. Oh, it looks like Speed Reader is about to read the book. And there he goes. Oh, King Dimly and the Mad Mac have stolen the blue ruby from the town power tower. Ooh. Oh, the witches and wizards are in terrible trouble. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Run, Dory, run. Run. Oh, you'd better hide, oh, Dory. Oh, hide, hide, hide. No, no, not there, Dory. No. Where? Oh, Dory. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Scary showcase, the g -g -g ghost of television path. Oh, Gary, ah. Dory in the Haunted House is the story of Dory, the little witch, and how she and her black cat, Glink, solve the mystery of the stolen ruby in an old haunted house. How does Dory get the blue ruby back? Ah. Ah. Read Dory in the Haunted House, and you'll know for sure. I'll read Dory and the Haunted House by Friday. Nobody can read as fast as you can, Speed Reader, mm. but everyone can find the time to read. That's right, Gary. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Do, 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 do you really think this st studio is haunted? Oh, probably not. Uh oh, good. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, Gary, what? I've got to run. Oh, no. I'm off to a roller disco to read Hans Brinker and the Silver Skates. No. <laughs> Dory and the Haunted House by Patricia Coombs. 
run to your library and check it out. <laughs> well, who ever heard of a haunted TV studio? Uh, Ganoos don't believe in uh, g -g 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 ghosts. Uh, <laughs> Tune in once again when Scary Showcase will return. <laughs> Great Space Coaster will return at the Ride Little Pony, new sea pony. Each one comes with a pretty new shell. Ride Little Pony, baby sea pony. Are just little babies that don't swim very well. They jump in the water with cute little tools on. Left to wash and comb their baby hair too. New sea ponies and baby sea ponies. Just like a dream come true. I love you, baby sea ponies. New My Little Pony Sea Ponies and Baby Sea Ponies from Hasbro. Hi, I'm John DeBella. You know, it's going to be more fun to wake up because we've got the GoBots all new at 7.30. The GoBots, the GoBots, Jetsons! The Jetsons all new at 8. Hey, Scooby! Where are you? Over here. And Scooby-Doo at 8.30. Weekday mornings are going to be great, right here on TV 29. Nicole, what's older than both of us, has a kid's heart, and can be found throughout the city of Philadelphia. The obvious is Prince in Progress. The not so obvious is my dog. Great, Nicole. Prince in Progress provides free art workshops for kids 6 to 18 years old. These are year-round workshops at four locations. And all year round, you can see the work of young artists here at the Prince in Progress Gallery, 1424 Spruce Street. This is the sound that could save your life. Today's show was supported in part by Kellogg's. Kellogg's, the best to you each morning. Time in. Now back to the program. Okay, let's get this vocal rehearsal yeah, started. Yeah. Uh, ready? All right. Two. Hey, you, this is my world, too. Don't go messing it around. Hey, you, this is my world, too. Keep your litter off the ground. Help, 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 What's the matter, help, Bats? Help, help, help. Bats, what is it? There's a spider crawling on my back. Oh, I can feel okay, it. Cool, it's 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 just please I brush it off. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Don't hurt him. There you go. Hey, I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to interrupt rehearsal. It's just I was That's okay, so Bax. scared. Yeah, no problem, Bax. I didn't know you were so afraid of fighters. Yeah, spiders. I don't know what it is. You know, that old guys just give me the creeps. I guess it's silly. It's not silly, Bax. I mean, I'm afraid of spiders. At least I was when I was littler. You, know? you too? <laughs> sure, lots of people are afraid of spiders. Really? Yeah, right. When I was small, I had this thing about worms. All I had to do was see one, and I start running. <laughs> For me, it was snakes. Actually, I'm still kind of afraid of snakes. Yeah. Snakes, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Snakes? Nice? Are you crazy? No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's nice to know that other people are scared about stuff. Well, sure. Max, what did you think? That you have an exclusive on being frightened? You know, no. you know, that's one of the worst parts of being afraid, I think. You know, it's not so much the fear itself. It's thinking that you are the only one who feels that way. You know, Roy? You can say that again. Oh, Bax, I can do better than that. I can sing it. Are you afraid of lightning? Does the sight of it make you shake? Do your knees buckle under when you hear a clap of thunder? Does stormy weather make you quake? You're not alone. find eerie. You're not alone. You're not alone. History has shown everyone in some way or another is afraid of the unknown. Are you upset by doctors or the barber who cuts your hair? When you're staring at the ceiling while seated in a dentist's chair. Are you 
Are you disturbed by monsters? Does a squeaky floor make you freak? Do your knees start a wobbling when you think about a goblin? Do horror movies make you shriek? You're not alone. You're not fat. You're not alone. Fear of heights? Do you not like moonless nights? Are you scared of airplane flights? Insect bites? Parasites? What else backs meteorites? Everything scares me. You're not alone. Sister and your brother, everyone in some way or another is afraid of the unknown. You're not alone. You're The Mask Force is here to outwit the evil forces of Venom. And now, you can have the power of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, next on TV 29. you become a member of the hottest crime-fighting team ever assembled. Mobile Armored Strike Command, led by Matt Tracker, uses illusion as the ultimate weapon to neutralize Venom and its forces of evil. Mask, join the adventure. Catch the excitement weekdays at 3.30 on TV.